My goodness. My goodness. What's up, man? I am in the studio. I got up early this morning. I got up at 3.50 this morning so that I can start doing the show live from the new studio, right? And so I get here this morning. I get live in the new studio. What's up? Everybody's coming in here. So, sorry. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So, here's the deal. So, I got up at 3.50 this morning. Take that, Scott Simons! I got up at 3.50 this morning so that I could do the show live from my new studio, right? That, that's what I'm going to do now. New discipline, new routine. I'm going to get up early. I'm going to do the show live and, and so on and so forth. So, of course, with your first day of doing that, there's trials and tribulations, right? So got up 3.50 this morning, super excited, got in, did my gratitude, did my goals, did all of that stuff, wrote out the show, got here to the studio, plenty of time, got on, got my software up and running, I'm like, great, check my mic, check the headphones, everything's cool. And then I'm like, boom, I try to go live, I got no internet. What? What do you mean I got no internet? I got no internet. Can't connect to the internet. Don't understand why I can't get on the internet. So I call Spectrum, who's our internet provider service. I call Spectrum. I'm like, hey, Spectrum, I can't get on the internet, right? And Spectrum's like, yeah, dude, that's because you have an $800 bill that you have not paid yet for your internet. I'm like, oh, yeah, there's that. I should probably pay my $800 bill so that I can um, so I can use the internet, right? <laughs> so then I pay my eight hundred dollar bill this morning so that I can use my uh, so I can use the internet. So then I pull up my software, the same software that I always use every single day. Mm -hmm. The camera's not moving, my phone is sliding. <laughs> So then I pull up my software that I use every single day that I use to build the show. So I pull up the software, right, because I got the internet back going. So I pull up the software and I'm trying to do the what I normally do, right, which is I just go in and I do the Rise and Grind show. I'm doing it right now as I'm talking to you. Um, I go in and I pull up my software and I upload my stuff. I do all of that. And then once I do all of that, I go live and I have to tell it where I want to go live, right? So I do, I go into my output settings and I say, okay, I want to go live onto my business page. The Glenn Lundy business page is where I want to go live two, right? So um, I switch over and we go to uh, pages, which I'm doing right now. We go to pages that we want to go live to and I open up all of my pages and guess what? Glenn Lundy page isn't here. It like doesn't exist. Like it will not allow me for some reason, it will not allow me to go live on my own business page. <laughs> it won't let me. Like it'll let me go live on my profile. It'll let me go live um, into the Rise and Grind group. It'll let me go live in there. But it will not let me go live on my my business page. The same page that I go live on every single day day. So with that said, we still have a show to do and we're just going to have to do it from here. We're just going to have to do it straight from the cell phone. I know, man. Talk about some frustrations. I got here nice and early. I did everything right. I came prepared, right? I did everything right. I came prepared. I did all that good stuff. And um, sometimes life throws you lemonade or lemons, right? So we got to turn them into lemonade. So here's what we're going to do this morning. We're just not going to have all the fancy stuff that I wanted to have. I wanted to have um, three camera angles. Like in this new studio, we got three camera angles. We got the best microphone in the world, which I don't even know why I have the headphones on or the microphone because we don't need them because I'm not going through this software. I'm just doing a straight up live with you on the phone. Good news is I can show you. Look, I brought the chalkboard. There's my rise and grind flag. 
This is, you know, some lighting. There we go. Look, there's the rise and grind right there. Check that out. So I can show you that stuff, which is kind of cool. But let's go ahead and kick this thing off. I know we're already behind. Today is Wednesday, March 13th, 2019. I'm super excited. It's supposed to be like 70 degrees today. It's going to be a little rainy, but it's going to be 70 degrees today. I'm super excited um, for that. And you are witnessing the first ever episode from the newly completed studio. <laughs> And you're having to watch it on from me on the mobile phone, which is crazy. But that's okay. We've got cameras. We've got flags. Um, I have a big screen up here. Let me go over here to the big screen. Actually, I don't need it right now. But I have a big screen that I can now watch you guys on. I can watch you on the big screen before I had to like look at my phone to see who was um, on here. Actually, let me go up here. Before I had to kind of look on my phone to see you know, who was watching the show so that I could say good morning to you guys, so on and so forth. And now I can see it right up here. I see John Allen, good morning, John Allen. I see Trendy Trenda, good morning, Trendy Trenda, how are you? I see Eric Willeroy, good morning, Eric Willeroy. Who else we got? We already have 156 comments on this thing. You guys are, much, you guys are just amazing. I gotta tell you, you guys are amazing. You bear with me. You go through all the struggles with me, which is awesome. And uh, so I love you guys. Pam Biddle, um, she's here. Pam says she's getting kicked off, but nobody else is saying that. Pam, I hope that that's not my connection. Good morning, Naomi. Good morning, AJ Anderson. Sandra Benstock. What's up, Joshua Stifler? Uh, Tom Delolio. Sheila's up in here. Good morning, Joe Leach. Eric Burns. What's up, Danielle Marie? Everybody's in here this morning. Jeff Baker. I love it. I love it. I love it. You guys are amazing. Christopher Campbell. What's up, Richard Pintrick? Everybody's up in here this morning. I love it. And that's great because we have an awesome episode. I'm going to dive right in. Normally, this would be the part of the show where I'd say, let's dance. And we'd all start dancing around. We'd get the music rocking and rolling. And you would hit that share button because I believe if we could change the way people start their day, we can make a massive impact on this planet. I absolutely believe it. So this this is the point where you would hit the share button, get us rocking and rolling. We do some dancing in our chair, and I say good morning to all of you guys. But today we're going raw. We're going straight from the cell phone. We're in studio, but we're going straight from the cell phone. Check it out. I also had some videos and stuff I'm gonna, uh, I was gonna run with you, but we're gonna have to change that. So listen, for those of you that don't know, since this is the first episode from the new studio, even though I'm on my phone, for those of you that this is the first episode, my name is Glenn Lundy, and I come from humble beginnings. Now today, I get to travel the world. I travel the world speaking, helping dealerships grow their businesses. I get to do that, which is awesome. And I host this incredible, incredible show that has been the most interesting and unique experience for me as a human being in my entire life. But I've got the best group and the best show, and it's called Hashtag Rise and Grind. And so it is such an honor to be able to spend time with you in the morning, uh, and I'm so happy you're here, and I hope that you're happy to be here. I've got some fire for you today. So this weekend, I spent some time, or this these last couple days, I spent some time with Dr. Eric Thomas, the number one motivational speaker in the world. And him and I were talking about Hustle and Grind Con, which is a conference coming up April 4th and 5th that I'm telling you, you need to be at. You need to attend. You want to be a part of this. You don't want to miss it. So if you haven't got tickets yet, Hustle and Grind Con, incredible speakers. I mean, an absolute incredible lineup of speakers at Hustle and Grind Con. If you haven't got your tickets yet, I need to get your tickets. Go to hustlegrindcon.com and come join me in Orlando, April 4th and 5th. It's going to be amazing. Also, we have this planner. If you open your planner, you need to open your planner. If you bought a planner already, you need to open it up because today is a beautiful, beautiful quote. Um, if you open your planner, it says, Our truest life is when we are in our dreams awake. Our truest life is when we are in our dreams awake. And there's so much power to that and so much truth to that. For those of you that have already bought planners, if it's on the shelf collecting dust, I need you to pick it up. I need you to start using it every single day. For those of you that haven't had a chance to buy your planner yet, go right now. 
Go to Amazon, put in hashtag, make sure you put in the hashtag Rise and Grind. You can get a planner. And if you use the coupon code Rise and Grind, then you'll get 20% off that planner. So go get your planner if you haven't done it all ready man but i gotta tell you the conference is gonna be amazing um car loans or carloan.com is an awesome service that we partnered with that's been doing some incredible things so it's gonna be absolutely over the top all right listen Monday, my man Derek McLean came on the show and he talked about heroes don't always wear capes. And he talked about his wife and what a hero she is and just really, um, you know, shared his rise and grind story. It was awesome. Yesterday, we talked about how not all giants are tall, and we dove into Joel Bryant with his big heart and um, his uh, Savannah and her heart and her coach uh, on basketball, and, and we really just kind of dove into not all giants are, are tall. It's, it's what's in here. It's what's in the heart. And yesterday, I read something interesting. Yesterday, I read that Captain Marvel, the movie Captain Marvel, did over $450 million this weekend. Over $450 million this weekend in the box office. And so my question this morning is, why do we love heroes, right? And success, as you, if you've ever watched me before, you've probably heard me say that success always leaves clues. And so heroes, obviously, this hero movie just did $450 million over the weekend. Obviously, there's something successful about heroes. So we have to dive in and we have to like look at the clues, right? Because we want success in our life. You want success in your life. I want success in mine. So we have to look at the clues and success always leaves clues. So what can we learn and what can we apply? And so I'm going to go through a list of a few things that we can learn and that we can apply that you can learn and you can apply in your life so that you can have more success, right? I want to be successful. You want to be successful. So let's get to be more successful. Listen, heroes are, are brave. Heroes are brave. Every hero that you've ever watched, every hero that you've ever seen, every hero is brave. They go after it. When everybody's running one direction, they when everybody's running away from the problems, they run towards them, right? You see it in the movies all the time. You see Superman's running towards the problem and the crowd's flying past him the other way. That's because heroes are brave. So in order for us, if we want to be successful, right, if we want to win in our lives, and I keep saying we, if you want to win in your life, if you want to be successful, I need you to be brave. I need you to be brave. I'm going to give you an example. You know what's brave? What's brave is having a show at 5.30 in the morning every single day, having a brand new studio that you've never done a show out of at 5.30 in the morning, and getting up at 3.50 in the morning and saying, you know what, we're just going to go figure it out. And if we end up looking like a dummy, we end up looking like a dummy. But guess what? I'm going to get stronger from this morning. I'm going to get better because of these situations. And it's not going to be something that tears me down. It's going to be something that builds me up. I believe that. Heroes are brave. I need you to be brave. Heroes turn pain into power. Heroes turn pain into power. Think about it. My man, Batman, right? You guys all know Batman. My man Batman, he had this fear and this pain like he, he lost his parents and if you watch the original he got stuck in this area and there was uh, bats everywhere and the bats you know were attacking him and he just had this, this epic moment with bats, right? And so he took that fear and that pain. Batman took all that and he turned himself into Batman, right? And what's cool about Batman is he doesn't have any superhuman powers. He just uses his mind and created cool weapons and toys and things where he could go out and make a difference in the world. The Batman, a true, a true successful person, if you want to be a successful person, you're going to learn to turn pain into power. That's what heroes do. That's how heroes are successful. That's why we are attracted towards heroes. That's why we want to spend $450 million in the box office. 
for heroes. Heroes turn pain into power. Heroes also use what they have to win. You notice that? All heroes use exactly what they have to win. Spider-Man has the ability to crawl on walls and shoot webs out of his arms, so he uses that to win. That's how he gains the upper hand. Superman has great strength and the ability to fly, so he uses that to win. Iron Man, has, he's brilliant. He's got brilliant skills and ability to create robotic technologies that are far advanced from everybody else, and so he uses that to win. I want you to take a look at what do you have? What skills did God give you? What talents did God give you? Those are the things that you need to use to win. That's how you become successful. God gave me the gift of gab. I can talk. I can speak. He gave me the ability to write. I can write, man. I was on the plane yesterday getting ready for BADA. BADA is not until June, but I'm going to be speaking and I want to deliver the most powerful presentation I've ever delivered in the history of the world. And so I was on the plane riding last night, boom, 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 as I was on the plane back from Fort Lauderdale. I wrote freaking nine pages in two and a half hours of straight fire. We, I'm going to use the gifts that God gave me to win. And you can use the gifts that God gave you to win as well. Success leaves clues. Heroes believe in themselves. Heroes believe in themselves. They do every day. You notice they, they walk around, they believe, they think they're going to win, they know that they're going to win, they, they strut, they puff their ch chests out. They believe in themselves. They're confident. They walk with confidence. They act with confidence. They don't allow anything to distract them. They truly believe in themselves. I think your problem, and when I say your, I mean some of you because not all of you, but I think some of your problem is you don't believe in yourself. You're not having the high levels of success that you want to have because you don't believe in yourself enough. You don't think you have enough. You don't think you are enough. You don't think you're worth enough. And I'm here to tell you, you are. You must. It's not an option. It's not a question. You must believe in yourself if you truly want to reach high levels of success. I believe in myself. I believe that a studio makes for a great show. I believe that a studio makes for a great show. But I believe in myself enough that I can just pop up the cell phone, lean it up against the laptop, or the lean it up against the computer screen, and I believe I can breathe life into you this morning. I believe I can have you running through walls today. I believe that because the technology is great. It makes for a better show, attracts more people. That's great. But the camera isn't what makes this show. My computer isn't what makes this show. Uh-uh. Me? I would make, I'm what make the show. I believe. I believe in myself enough that I can go live at 5.30 in the morning every single day, Monday through Friday. It doesn't stop. And I believe I can impact and change the world by doing so. Not cocky, not conceited. It's my gift that I share with you. I believe I can do it. I need you to believe in yourself as well. If you wanna be truly successful, I need you to believe in yourself. Heroes. Success leaves clues, right? Heroes serve others. Heroes constantly serve others. If you want to be successful in life, you must serve others. Look at it. Just watch the movies, man. Just watch the movies. Success leaves clues. It's all right there. The heroes are constantly serving other people. They, they sacrifice things in their own life. They sacrifice relationships. They sacrifice their identities. They sacrifice being able to just walk around and, and, and focus on their own things, right? You see it in the Spider-Man stories. He loses Jane and they always have trouble in relationships because they make these sacrifices because they're constantly serving others. If you want to reach high levels of success in your life, you must serve others. Heroes never quit. 
How many times have you seen them? They're just getting pounded on. Boom, 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 boom. And their mask is all tore up. You can see part of their face. And homeboy's pounding on them. Da, da, da. He's pounding on their chest. He's like, D, D, D. And the music's getting all freaking epic. And you're like, oh my God. The hero's going to go down. He's going to die. And he's laying there. Ah, ah. And you think it's over. And the villain's like, oh, yeah, I win. And guess what happened? The hero doesn't quit. He gets back up. He, ah, he gets back up again. And he wins. Heroes never quit. Success leaves clues. Do you want to be highly successful in your life? Don't quit. Don't give up. Ever. Heroes never quit. Heroes always get back up. And lastly, last but not least, lastly but not leastly, <laughs> heroes never do it for the reward. Heroes never, ever, ever do anything that they do. They never do it for the reward. You know how at the end of the movie, you know how at the end of the movie, the everybody's, there's like a press conference. They're going to give the hero, or not, not the press conference, but like, uh, you know, there, something happens. There's a bank robbery, right? There was all this stuff. And then all of a sudden you see the, 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 the villains are trapped in the spider web, but Spider-Man's nowhere to be found. Or they go to say thank you to Superman and, and he's, he's gone. He's, he's flown off or whatever, right? The hero always disappears. Once, the, once everything's achieved, once they've won, once the battle's over, right? Once they went through and they made sure that they were brave and they made sure that they turned their pain into power and they made sure that they used their own skill set to do what they can to win and they made sure to believe in themselves and they made sure to serve other people and they made sure to never quit and they made sure after getting beat down over and over and time and time again, they made sure to get up. Once they did all that, and they won, out of there, gone. The hero never does it for the reward. It's not about the reward. It's not about the accolade. That's not what it's about. Heroes do what they do because they know and embrace who they are. They don't need the reward. They don't need it. It's not about the reward. It's about the passion that they have, the fire in their state, that they have, the responsibility that they have to be the absolute best versions of themselves that they can be. They don't need anyone else to tell them they're great. They don't need anyone else to, to, to put a, a medal around their neck to make them feel good about themselves. They do it to be the absolute best versions of themselves that they can possibly be. Now, we're running a little bit behind on time, but I want to make sure you catch this last part. Do you know why the villains always lose? I can tell you why the villains always lose. The villains always lose because in every hero movie you ever watch... The heroes are the villains always lose because villains focus on people's weaknesses, right? The villains always trying to find the kryptonite, right? If I can get Superman in the kryptonite, you know, the kryptonite's his weakness. Villains always focus on people's weaknesses, whereas heroes always focus on people's strengths. You notice that? Every movie you ever watch, they always talk about, well, he's, you know, he's real strong in this area. That guy, that, 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 uh, that villain, man, that guy, he just, he's always outsmarting. They're always focusing on their strengths. Villains focus on their weaknesses. You see, there's a hero inside of you. There's a hero inside of you, and I want you to let that hero out. Because when you let that hero out, when you focus on your strengths, 
not your weaknesses. And you, you do these things, this whole list, you're brave. And you turn your pain into power. And, and you use what you have to win. And you believe in yourself and you serve others and you never quit. And you always get back up and you don't do it for the reward. You simply do it to be the absolute best version of yourself that you can possibly be. And you follow your passion and you become that best version. And you focus on the positives. You focus on your strength. There is a hero inside of you that I want you to let out. Like my girl Naomi is letting out with this book. I read the first paragraph of Naomi's book yesterday. It's phenomenal. This girl used to weigh 450 pounds. She was on her way to, to death. Now she's this amazing, massive, positive spirit that's lost a ton of weight, that's changed her mindset, not just her physical, but her mindset, and she's going to make a massive impact on this planet. I can't wait, girl. Let it out, Naomi. I want all of you to let it out. Let out the superhero in you and reach massive levels in, of success because I need you to, the world needs you to, and God created you to because, see, you are a child of God, uniquely made by the God of the universe, the one that made that ocean setting that I got to see yesterday. The God of the universe made you to be the absolute best version of yourself that you can possibly be, and you're already starting to make good decisions. Watch, you're getting up early. You're watching hashtag. Tag, rise and grind. You're feeding your mind great stuff first thing in the morning. You're already starting to do these things. And I'm trying to tell you, it's making an impact. It's making an impact on your friends, on your family members, on your coworkers, and it's making an impact on me. So thank you so much. I absolutely love you for it. I do. I absolutely stinking love you. So let out your superhero. Let it out today. Go out there and change the world. You deserve it. You've earned it. You're worth it. Go get it. You know what I love most about my new studio? I can be loud as I want. <laughs> I don't have to worry about waking up babies, waking up my wife. This is my spot, my space. You know what else I love about the studio? I pulled in this morning, there's probably a uh, hundred different businesses in this center right here that I'm in. There's probably a hundred different businesses. Guess how many cars are in the parking lot when I rolled up? Zero, baby. I'm number one. First one in the office. First one getting after it. I'm going to win. Are you going to win? Shoot. Have an amazing day. Ha! I know I'm going to. Love you.